What's going on guys? It's Will here from TechnicConsumer.com and today I'll be showing you guys how to take Android off of your Nook Simple Touch with Glowlight. The process I'm going to show you is actually very simple, but does require that you have made an image backup of your Nook using Roadkill's Unstoppable Copy. Programs and files you'll need include Roadkill's Unstoppable Copy, Minitool Partition Manager, Win Image, Noogie, and your Nook Image Backup. Links for all are in the description, except your Nook image backup has to have been done previous to installing Android, and you should have that. First, make sure you have backed up your SD card and gotten any important files off of your Nook that were on Android. Also, make sure your Nook is almost fully charged. Next, use WinImage to flash the Noogie image onto your SD card. Noogie is a program that allows you to access the flash memory of the Nook and edit it. Turn off your Nook and put in your Noogie SD card. Then reboot. You should see rooted forever. Let your Nook sit while you work on your PC. Connect the Nook to your PC and you should see some drivers start to install. Once they are done, continue to the next step. Next, open Minitool Partition Manager. Find the device that has 1.82 GB and right click on it. Select Delete All Partitions and when the Apply button at the top of the program is available, click it. Your Nook now has no software on it. To restore your Nook, go into Roadkill's Unstoppable Copier and write the Nook backup image you made to the 1.82 GB drive and then hit Write. The process should take a while. When Roadkill says it is done, close the program and disconnect your Nook from your PC. Take out the SD card. Then, reboot your Nook by pressing and holding the power button for around 15 seconds. If the Nook does not reboot, then let off the power button and press and hold again. Continue to experiment with holding the power button until the Nook restarts. And that's it. You have restored your Nook to the state that it was in when you made your backup. If you would like to see more tutorials like this one, be sure to comment down below. And if you would like to be notified as to when I post new videos, be sure to subscribe. Finally, if this video helped you, please thumbs up the video so this tutorial can help other people as well. For more videos like this one, as well as tech news, tutorials, and reviews, be sure to visit techinconsumer.com. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you guys in my next video.